I have realized a few things about making games over the last year or so in the classroom and it's pretty good to get the feedback from the kids. Sometimes they actually give me real feedback, sometimes they just give me like disinterest <sighs> in, as their feedback. Some of the great feedback that I've got is like, okay, I really like that game because it gave me the satisfaction of being able to win and I realized that usually I'm teaching a lesson at the same time as doing these games. So. What I've started to do is just make sure that the games can be played in 5 to 10 minutes. I started out doing these really intricate games because I had recently brought a game to the classroom called um, Bang, which is like a Wild West game. Super duper fun, but super duper complicated. And I thought, complicated, that's what they want. Turns out that's not good. You're not actually moving on the hexagons, you're moving on the circles complicated is not good so first I tried to do a game that was all kind of based on like bang where they would move across the board then they would collect pieces and not only that but they had to cert collect a certain amount of pieces before they could move on to the next stage of the game and then I was like that could be three separate games so what I realized is they need short snappy games another important thing is that games aren't lost easily like Monopoly one of the worst things about Monopoly is if you lose and you got two hours to go you're miserable another thing I try to do is just decide on what kind of game it's gonna be I have recently tried to make a whole bunch of games and I've had no idea what kind of game it's gonna be so I just get the map started I start coloring over the top and then I'm like wait a minute I'm 75% of the way through and I don't know what kind of game this is gonna be and there's been a couple of times where I've had to scrap it because I thought, this this doesn't have a way to move forward. Is this a dice game? Is this a collecting cards game? What kind of game is this? Another thing is that the game needs to be not overly complicated. So the other day I was sitting there explaining a game and the kids are getting kind of fidgety. If you roll a five, here's what the game gets a little bit complicated. And I realized as I started explaining it, I'm gonna have to go and explain this to everybody after they start playing. If you roll a four, you've got a choice of what to do. You can either move, lay a town, or a fort. So, keep it simple, decide on what kind of game it's gonna be, and then just kind of commit to that. For more history,